Today I'm going to share with you the one resource that helped me the most when I was studying Japanese. If it's your first time here, my name's Andy. At Tokini Andy, I create and also stream Japanese lessons as well as share what it's like to live in Japan. If that's something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. So my friend Kevin Abroad recently posted something on Twitter that really took off. The tweet was, for those who are above beginner level in Japanese, what is one resource that you've used which really helped you incredibly? Ideally something that most people might not think about. Thanks, smiley face. So I responded with one resource that I'm going to tell you guys about today. And the reason I'm making this video is because I was really surprised at how few people actually knew about this resource. Because it helped me so much when I was learning Japanese. And that was years ago. And that's why I figured it would be a great idea to make a video going over it. Anyway, enough beating around the bush. The one resource that helped me most when I was learning Japanese is Tai Kim's Guide to Learning Japanese. And today I'm going to be looking at it six years later and doing a little review. Now, even if you don't like studying on your PC, I've got some good news for you later in the video, so stick around for that. Let's take a look, shall we? So you can see right from the start that this is not a fancy website. It's very simple, which I actually like. When I'm trying to learn, when I'm trying to study, I don't need lots of distractions and advertisements and big colorful letters and all that stuff. I like something simple so that I'm not distracted easily. Another thing that I just noticed, which is not something that existed when I was using this website, is boom, dark mode. Did you see this? This is great. Um, if you're going to be reading this website a lot over the next months, then dark mode is probably going to save your eyes a lot. I wish this existed back when I was using the website. So anyway, light mode, dark mode. I'm going to stick with dark mode because that's my favorite way to use websites and applications nowadays. It really saves my eyes, which have been going to hell because I've been using the internet and computers way too close to my face for so many years. Anyway, all that existed back when I was learning Japanese was his grammar guide, which is pretty much the main thing on the website still now, but I think he might be working on another book at the moment. Now there is an actual book that you can buy so you can avoid using the website or the application, which I'm going to tell you about later in the video. And it's pretty cheap. If you get the Kindle version, it's only $4.80, and the paperback is, I guess it's $19, which isn't really that bad. And it's such an amazing resource, and he's been giving it away for free for so long that I would consider buying the Kindle version or the paperback version just to support the guy, because he does such amazing work. There's a link down in the description. It's an affiliate link, which means that I'll get a small commission. It costs you nothing extra. And that commission helps me keep making free Japanese lessons for you guys. So please consider buying it off that if you want to pick up the book. So anyway, moving on. The website navigation is pretty simple. You've got on the right side the complete guide, as well as the grammar guide, which covers pretty much the same things as far as I can tell. I went over this a little bit later. We've got nouns, adjectives, writing systems. I'm not sure what the difference is between these. Maybe there's, I guess there's more information now on the complete guide. Um, what I used was the grammar guide. So the navigation is pretty straightforward. You've got a before we start. It looks like he's even got YouTube videos. And it just gives lots of really great advice to people who are starting to learn Japanese. Now, what I really like about this is that he starts off in both the grammar guide and in the overall guide teaching hiragana and katakana. Now, I always suggest that you should learn the writing system for Japanese right off the bat. And he does this really well. He's got how to write them. He's got how to say them, pronunciations, of both men and women, and graphs, and there's little comics like this one. What are you doing? I'm studying hiragana. What's the point? Can't you just use romaji? It's romaji, not romaji. Yeah, why not just use that? Da, 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 da. I think you just answered your own question. So it's not that funny, but it, but it gets the point across. So this guy's really talented. So he's got good hiragana and katakana lessons. Um, he goes into kanji a little bit, and there's something great about kanji in this website that I'm going to show you a little bit later that really was helpful to me when I was learning Japanese. When he covers new kanji, he's even got links to jisho.org, which has writing guides and more meanings for the kanji and other vocabulary. So it's just it's a really well-made website right off the bat. Now, I'm going to jump over to the grammar guide because that's what I use the most when I was studying Japanese. So we'll just jump into something random. Let's go to introduction. Well, we'll go to verb basics because verbs really give a lot of people trouble in the beginning. So he starts off with vocabulary right in the beginning. All the vocabulary he'll be using in the lesson. In this case, we've got things like taberu, 
He's got the hiragana as well as the kanji and the English translation as well as do and u verbs. Now, it looks like he's using the Genki version of do and u verb, um, which I'm not a big fan of. I'd prefer if he just said ichidan or godan verbs because it's a lot easier to understand, I feel like. But the good news is that his explanations for how to conjugate verbs are way better than Genki Lesson 3. Now, if you're using Genki, I covered how to do Genki Lesson 3 or a better way to memorize how to conjugate verbs, especially if you're stuck on Genki Lesson 3, at the link right over here. It was a stream, so there's a lot of information in it, but definitely check that out if you're having trouble learning to conjugate verbs. But anyway, another great idea if you're having trouble learning to conjugate verbs is to check out this website. He covers lots of things that have to do with speaking, like for instance, this sentence, a grammatically complete sentence requires a verb only. This is stuff you won't necessarily find in textbooks. And it's like a textbook, but a really good textbook, and it's free. So anyway, scrolling down, we've got lots of information, and my favorite thing about this website is the example sentences. He's got great, useful example sentences, and when you hover over verbs and new words, the hiragana version and the translation pops up. So it's just incredibly useful. Look at this. Arisu wa taberu. As for Alice, eat. Jinmu ga kuru. Bobu mo suru. Stuff like that. And he also covers iru eru verbs. Just, he covers everything. He's got exercises. I didn't, I forgot about the exercises. Look at this. We've got actual practices. So we've got the kanji. So I really, I really, really enjoyed this lesson and found it really useful. His descriptions were easy to understand. They cover informal Japanese, which is what I really wanted to learn for speaking, and also formal Japanese and really, really complicated stuff. And he also covers, he just covers how to use everything, adjectives, verbs. And you can go at your own pace and you can skip around and it's, it's really easy to use. You can learn kanji, you can learn hiragana, lots of vocabulary and what i did when i was using this website is i would go down to the example sentences like kyo wa hashitta i would take these example sentences and i would copy them and paste them into an anki deck and study them so that i could learn the grammar points that he taught and that i studied that day even better and then of course i would try to use them in conversation whether it was on italki link in the description or just in person with people here in Japan. But if you're not in Japan, obviously doing a lesson on iTalkai or something like that, like using Skype will be much more, I don't know, much more feasible if you're trying to use new grammar. So check that out. Lots of vocabulary, lots of details, lots of great sentences, and you can just, you can learn so much grammar and it'll actually be fun and so much, so much Japanese in general just from this, this free website. Another great, thing is that there's translations into so many different languages. So if English is not your first language, check this out. We've got German, Spanish, French, we've got Indonesian, Italian, Pol Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Samoa, I don't know, Suomi, I don't know what that is. Turkish it looks like, we've got uh, Korean and Chinese. So if, you're, if your native language is any of those, you can actually read the whole guide in those languages. That's awesome, right? So for the grammar guide, there's other formats. There's paperback, which I mentioned earlier, which is available on Amazon. There's a PDF version, which if you click here, there's an, there's an app on Android and an iOS app. So no excuses for not being able to use this literally anyway. The PDF version is literally the whole website in book form right here. You can download that and use it anywhere, online, offline. You can probably print it out if you want to. Don't sell it, but that's, you know, a different story. So there's 353 pages to this. You should be really good at Japanese if you learn this whole book. So the app is actually what I use most. At the time I had an iPhone, right now I have Android, but it's pretty much the same thing. And it hasn't changed that much over the years, which is actually a good thing because it was really easy to use. And I used it all the time. When I was on the bus, when I had a break at work, I just used it everywhere. So the navigation on this thing when you first use it might be a little bit confusing, but there's just this welcome screen and then you have to actually hit on the top left corner, the menu button. And then it's just like a book, basically. It's got a list of all the lessons and you can make bookmarks and whatnot. And you just sort of jump into them and you'll see that it's exactly the same as the website. You've got the same sounds and the same animations and the same videos and the same words and just everything is the same. 
I don't remember if there were actually these sounds on the website where you could have sounds played for all the words, like the vocabulary. And I don't think they're there for everything. And I also think that's something new. It wasn't there when I was using it. But still, that's a great, great resource. So we come in here, we've got all the vocabulary. It's very easy to see each word. If you click on it, it pops up with the hiragana reading and the English translation. So super fast, really responsive, well-made app. We come down here, we've got Arisu wa tabenai. Alice doesn't eat, we click on it. We've got the hiragana version and the English translation. So it's just like before. Also, you may notice that up in the top right corner, there's also boom, dark mode, which is really gonna save your eyes if you're using this a lot. And you should be using this a lot because it's a great resource. Another awesome thing is that you can copy and paste these example sentences and you can put them directly into Ankydex on your phone. If you prefer using your phone to a computer, definitely check this out. You can use both wherever you are, anytime. If you prefer a book, the book is there. If you prefer PDFs, like whatever you want, you could throw the PDF on your Kindle or whatever. It's got everything. It's free unless you buy the book. <clears throat> and it's just amazing content that will help you learn Japanese faster. If there's a resource that you've been using to study Japanese and have found incredibly useful, please let me know down in the comments because I don't know everything and I'd love to check out more things that could be useful for other people and maybe I'll even do a review of it here on this channel. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and if you want to learn more Japanese or see more reviews like this one, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. There's new videos every Saturday, I stream Japanese lessons on Sunday, I stream Japanese learning games on Tuesday, and I release grammar lessons every Thursday. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!